Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. This is episode 444. Yes, triple four. <laughs> and today's topic I'm going to play a little bit with and maybe provoke you into thinking differently. The topic today is, is your love wish list too long? Is it too short? Or is it defaulting? And you're going to find out pretty quickly which one of those you fall into and maybe it's not the right one. So before I start with all that, I'll introduce myself so you know who I am, where I come from, and what I'm about. That might help you understand why I talk about this stuff. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for the last year and a year and a half, more than a year and a half now, I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's um, topic, today's theme, today's episode, is episode number 444, so there's a lot more before this you can catch up on if you haven't seen my broadcast before. And the topic today, the theme today, is is your love wish list too long, too short, or defaulting? I'm going to offer you a better choice in a moment, but I wanted to at least give you um, some provocative thoughts just to get you on, on track. So. Shall we begin? First of all, um, <laughs> let me ask this question. Do you have a wish list for your love life? Because if you don't, that's kind of the default side, and I'll get to that in another one, because the default has more to it than just don't have one. So if you have a, a wish list, a, uh, I, a, a, what's one looking for? Either a list of what you want to have, like red flags, sorry, a list of what you want to have, which is green flags, and a list of what you don't want to have, which is red flags. And that could be a short list or a long list. And I want to speak to the benefits and the prices of both of those because, because they have both. So first of all, if your list is too short, or I should say if your list is, no, let me do it the other way. If your list is long, let's start with that one. Let's start with the long, short, default, do that order. If you have a list of things you want in a partner that is over a thousand items, you might be too detailed. It's important to have qualification and clarity of what you want in a relationship. But if you've painted the picture so exact that there's no wiggle room in it, you're going to basically have something less than you want. The idea, well, I'll get to the idea in a minute. Okay, hold on the idea, we'll get to that in a second. Let's flip the other side. If you are jotting down a few ideas and that's it, short list of what you want in a relationship, be very cautious that you may have omitted things because sometimes you hear people say, if you think the list too long, as I just said, you'd be over-specifying. But there's a middle ground between long and short, where if you do it too short, you're going to basically pay a price too. Because, for example, you may say, okay, I want someone who is the right height, the right weight, um, lives in the same town, and makes good money. So you've got four things. Now, what if they're already married? It would be nice to know if they're single. Yes. What if they're a drug addict? Maybe you want to be someone who's clean. Um, what if they are a vegan and you're not, and you know how hard it is to be in a relationship with somebody who's got a very different food preference? You might want to qualify that too. So I'm just saying this to make you realize that there may be at least, I'd say, and this is my perception basically, where there's probably going to be a happy medium of at least 10 things and less than, say, 30. Let's just ballpark it. I'm just going to give you some ideas of what I recommend is the, is the interim range from top to bottom. Now, let's talk about the default for a second. When I talk about defaults, I mean that either you have... Um, okay, there's a few options I'm already seeing. One of which is you have no list whatsoever, which is a default to nothing. But it's not going to be nothing because there's some other stuff going on, which I'll get to in a second. The other option is that maybe your default list is everything that happened in the last relationship um, erased plus one good thing or basically saying that what I want in a relationship is exactly the opposite of what I had in the last relationship that's a default as well and frankly it's not always a good choice because the extremes of one don't always match the extremes of the other or don't always fix the problems of the, the, the extremes of the other so consider that for a second but the default piece I want to talk to which is much more um, juicy and evocative and perhaps educational is when you don't make a list at all because, because, that omission of a list, that um, 
ignoring of a list because you don't think you need one basically closes out list choices from your conscious mind, frontal cortex. If, you don't, if you're not aware of this, your brain is more than just your frontal cortex. I'm realizing I've been, I, was, I just got for a bike ride, so I'm a bit... That's why I'm wearing my casual gear. Sunday afternoon, relax. That's why I'm dressed this way and I'm still <laughs> cooling down. Besides the frontal cortex, is a part of your mind called the subconscious, which is in your midbrain, I believe, if I get my... Um, is it phrenology? No, the, the brain definition is clear. Anyway, your subconscious mind also has a list, but you don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, goody. That list is specifically written based upon what you learn when you were a kid. Now, I talked about this before. I talked about it with conditional love, sorry, conditioned love a few days ago, and I talked about it yesterday. And this is where, this, this is another angle on it, so you, hopefully by this time you get clear on it. What happened to you in a childhood? What happened in your childhood, both what happened directly to you and what you witnessed, anything around the association with love, as in you watched people behave under the auspices of love and you saw them behave a certain way, that becomes your default list. And if you look back at the way your parents interacted with each other, siblings, other adults around you and the way they treated you, you might be going, oh shit. Or you might be going, oh goody. But most of us were going, hmm, that may be not what I want. If it's the first or the third, listen up. Because <laughs> if it's the second one, you're doing fine. But the thing about it is your subconscious mind, as I mentioned before in other broadcasts, is a part of you that basically has taken on the beliefs about how life should be and how love should be and made it your default part. This is the list you're running when you're not having a conscious list. In fact, to make it even more painful, this is a list that's running more powerfully than when you have a conscious list. So you may have a conscious list of what you want, but this list, this, this criteria, this set of conditions that you have experienced as a youngster are still running your choices as an adult and until you reinforce one your choices you do want consciously conscious mind choices and also do the work to eradicate and um, uh, excavate and resolve those default pro, um, list items in your subconscious until you do those two things you're going to end up in relationships you don't want i should say relationships that end up being what you don't want let's be clear about that so to recap quickly, there's a list, this is too long, this is too short, and this is default. The default list, especially from the one that's the programming you have built in, will keep running unless you change the programming. You can't rewrite the list without changing the programming because you erase the list, and like a computer, once you change the programming, it's gonna keep, keep spitting out the same list every single time, as many times you erase, the, if, you, if you burn the paper, it prints out, you'll print another list. So if you understand how it works, your subconscious mind's like a computer, putting out what was programmed into it. And the only way to change what comes out is to change what goes in, which is the programming. So that's one thing you've got to fix if you have that running in your life. If you look at your past relationships and they have any sense of um, repetition of how you were when you are youngster, that's a great indication that you're probably still running those automatic tapes, that automatic list, that default list, that programming you already have. I can help you with that and I'll get to that in a second. The other part is get really clear about what you do want. And make it such, and this is, the, this is one of the big secrets. So listen up and listen closely. It's also why it's one of the core elements of my program will attract the man you want. I'll tell you about that at the end as well, in case you're interested. That list you create, ideally, is written from the place of it already having happened. Sounds so simple. But some of you put a list of things out in the future that I will be having, or it might be happening, or this is where I want to go, versus I'm already here. So the framing of your statements for your list of what you want in relationship, this is true of anything in life, really, because this is how you do the law of attraction, actually. This is enough for this. When you are making your list, the qualities on that list are expressions in the now, in the present, and already happening, and they're in your life now. You get the flavor of that? It's now, current, present, in this moment. That's the perspective, that's the tense, that's the language, that's the framing of all of those list items. That shifts the energy to where you want it to go. Big list, big piece of that. So if your list you already have doesn't have that in it, time to rewrite that list. So that's a freebie from me. Now, as I mentioned, the two things. Uh, two things. One, if you are looking to, re if you realize that the programming you have in your subconscious is not matching what you already want and you want to change that, reach out to me. I offer a complimentary discovery session as my gift to you. It's in my uh, website. 
um, and it should be up and running. I just, I just transferred my website from one host to another one, so it was in limbo for a little bit and it should be up and running, but I'll tell you where to go anyway. If you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat, and barryselby.com is my site, so my name.com, so barryselby.com forward slash chat is where you can sign up for a discovery session with me. My gift to you, all you do is click on that, fill out a time on my schedule, and then fill out the form, send it off, and I'll get back to you and we'll have a talk. That's one. Second thing is I mentioned the program called Attract the Man You Want. If you want to really build your list out well and you're not sure how to frame it and build it, that's one element of eight, an eight module program I have called Attract the Man You Want. Rather than explain what it is, this sounds pretty self-explanatory, I invite you to go to the page it's on and read about it, which is barryselby.com forward slash ATM, Attract the Man, that's what it stands for. That will give you some things to work with, some things to look at, some ideas to, to delve into, and think about this for yourself. What do you really want? In a relationship have you made a list of that and is that list working answer those questions you'll know where you want to go next I've given you some options I'm also give me suggestions of what you can do and I definitely feel that if you want to have what you want you need to put some action some steps in action some things in action some intentions in action so got it we clear good if you have any questions about this broadcast, please put them below. A quick reminder, for if you haven't watched my broadcast before, I do these talks every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is uh, number 440, so all my previous broadcasts, sorry, 444, all my previous broadcasts and this one are going to be on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author um, on Facebook, that's the page, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby, the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, excuse me, and eventually end up on my podcast. If you're a podcast listener, I invite you to subscribe to my channel on, uh, or, sorry, subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, which is Messages of the Masculine. So that's where you can find me. I've given you the links for Discovery Session and Attract the Man You Want. Um, consider these, to, take this to heart. This is not, this is a Sunday broadcast, so it's not easy to put a light one, but this one's important. Because if you don't know what you want, you're going to end up getting what you don't want. Because what you want is going to be clarity. If you don't have clarity, what you get isn't going to match that. I think you got my point. Thank you for joining me as always. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I will see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. And topic tomorrow, we shall see. I appreciate you being with me as always. If you have any questions, comments, please reach out to me. Oh, if you want to subscribe to my email list, by the way, if you go to barryselby.com, yes, my name, my site. On the front page, you can sign up for the free, free video series, not these, but actually a free three-part video series that you might want to get, about three keys to attract an amazing relationship. And then you can be on my email list and get notifications every week. With that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you again tomorrow.